So now we're going to show the solution monitoring and that is provided with the open source product Nagios. And the reason why we chose Nagios is because we can not only monitor um, operating systems and ports and applications, but it also provides the means for us to monitor identity drivers. So if you look right now, we're able to look at the solution and see that all of our identity drivers on one of our hosts is up and running. And we've got an identity appliance and an audit appliance that we're currently tracking with Nagios. And we can see things such as a free space available, the number of current users, the HTTP protocol, and and then drivers as well as pinging the host and monitoring the total processes. And so for example right now the HTTP process is giving us a warning because going to the home directory or the home page it uh, returns of 403 forbidden. So what we're going to do now is uh, stop our employees driver and then return back to Nagios and it will cycle through and find that that driver is no longer running and eventually return a critical status to us on that. So now it's gotten to that cycle and it notifies us that that driver is either stopped or no longer exists and it's going to notify us based on however we've configured Nagios to notify us. So in this case it's going to notify me and it sent me an email letting me know that it's a problem alert and which host which is the identity appliance and then which service we're monitoring which in this case is the employees IDM driver and it's letting us know that it's at critical status. So within the email, a little bit more information with the date and time, and then the message generated by that alert, which is the fact that this driver is stopped or, or doesn't exist. So we'll go and troubleshoot whatever um, might have caused this alert. In our case, we'll just go to iManager and simply restart the driver. And then return to Nagios, and again, it will run through its cycle and eventually find the employee's driver to be up and running again. And now that it's recovered, it also sent an email notification uh, letting us know about the recovery as well. So if we go to our email client and refresh that, here's the recovery email. And again, letting us know that it's the identity appliance and the employee's driver and the fact that it's OK. And again, the, the date and time that the that Nagios found it to be running and the message, which is that the driver is actually running now. Now, this is a very simple example of how we're able to monitor our drivers and also monitor the entire rapid identity solution.